from here you will witness the unboxing and the end of your insignificant smartphones. The Huawei Mate 9. All right, so today we're gonna be unboxing the Huawei Mate 9, of course. First off, this is a really nice box. I like, I like the heft and the, the solidness of it. I hate when you buy a $800 phone and you get a box that feels like it was made from recycled paper towels. Let's open this up here. I'm just cut the plastic. All right, peel that off. You can see Mate 9 in gold letters and the Leica dual camera, because of course this was co-engineered with Leica, the German camera company. Nice and tight fitting. Uh, there we go. All right, and there she is. Okay, so we got the phone, more gold lettering. I'll take this out. All right, we'll set that aside for just a second and we'll go through the contents. Got the cardboard insert. It looks like we got two little accessory pouches here. So we got some gold icons. I'm gonna guess this one's got a charger, headphones, and a cord in it. And there we go. And this one's probably got your literature, your SIM card, and whatever that is. Let's set the box aside. Let's open this. Okay, there's a SIM card removal tool. Okay, so you get a little case apparently. That's what that symbol was. So you get a little clear back case with it. That's kind of nice. And the literature, of course. And in here we got charger. And apparently the other end. Yep, the other end has got your headphones and your USB-C cord. All right. Headphones actually look a lot like the Apple EarPods, which is interesting. I wonder if that's a specific design choice or not. <clears throat> Let's get into the phone here. So. First, I'm gonna do my favorite thing in the world. Peel off the plastic. Mmm, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yep. Oh, yeah. Nothing like a brand new phone. First thing I noticed is these side bezels are extremely small, and that's nice. And the top and the bottom are, are pretty slim, too, so the, the screen basically dominates the face of the phone. It is a 5.9 inch screen. It's uh, 920 by 1080, so it's not quite as high resolution as some of the others we've seen on the market today, um, which means it's only 373 pixels per inch, which is gonna be pretty standard when you're using it in your hand, looking at it, it's probably gonna be fine. Um, interesting thing, this is the first non-pixel phone that is Google Daydream compatible, so you can use it in your Google Daydream VR. But because of the resolution, I'm guessing it's gonna be a little bit grainy when you're looking at that. It also has a 4,000 milliamp battery. It's one of the biggest you can get on the market. Um, Huawei claims that you can, if you're a light user, you can get up to two days of battery life out of it. And that it'll charge a day's use in only 20 minutes. That's a pretty bold battery life claim. If it's true, that's amazing. It'd be the first smartphone in a long time that goes past a day of usable use. And of course, camera on the back, you see the, I don't know if you, can, you guys can see it there, but the little Leica logo. This was co-engineered by Leica, the camera company. Unlike the iPhone, which has two different lenses that work for two different things, one of them's a telephoto lens, one of them's more wide angle. This camera has two lenses that work in tandem together. So one of them is a 20 megapixel monochrome lens. So it only takes black and white photos. The other's a 12 megapixel color lens. So the idea is the black and white is gonna capture more details. The color one is gonna capture the color information. They're gonna combine it into a sharper, better looking picture. And then of course the, the front selfie cam, which on this guy is eight megapixels. It has a pretty robust built-in 64 gigabytes of storage. And as far as I know, that's the only option, which is nice. I'm glad to see they're starting to increase storage options. 16 is absolutely unusable in this day and age. 32 is bare minimum, in my opinion. 
and it also has a SD card slot that can take up to a 256 gig micro SD card so you can vastly increase the storage if you need to. Interestingly, let's see if I can show you guys here. I'm gonna get the SIM removal tool out. In the SIM card slot, if we open that up, you can see the SIM card slot and the SD card slot next to it. But if you notice, the SD card slot is shaped oddly. It's actually a dual SIM card as well. So you can either, you can do one of two things. You can have a SIM card and an SD card, or you can have two SIM cards. Because if you put a second SIM card in, it takes up the SD card slot. It's probably a design choice to save space, but I think it's a little odd that you have to choose one or the other. You can't do both. But I guess in the American market, you're probably, most people aren't gonna be using two SIM cards anyway. It is a super fast processor. Huawei claims it's the most powerful phone on the market. That remains to be seen, but it's their own proprietary chip in there, which is called the Kirin 960. It's an octa-core chip, so it's got eight cores. Kind of interesting design. Four of them are meant for super fast processing. Four of them are for slower processing, for low battery mode, for things that are routine. One of the most interesting parts of the software is Huawei has added what they're calling machine learning into the mix. And they claim that the phone will actually learn what apps and services you use most over time. And that'll make the phone actually get faster for you the more you use it. So for example, if you use Facebook all the time, but you don't use Twitter that much, the phone will start to learn to keep Facebook running in the background It'll keep it prioritized so that it opens fast. You always have a good Facebook experience where it won't do the same thing for Twitter because you don't use that that often. And of course, now that we have the phone in hand, custom ProClip device holders won't be too far behind. However, if you're gonna use a case, kind of like the thin one that comes with the phone, you can shop right now for our adjustable holder number 246605, which fits very nicely. I'll see you guys next time, and remember, you don't know the power of the dark side.